Are we live, Amar and Austin? Okay, I'm going to take that as a yes. All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Hack and See 2020 Into the Wild. You've made it this far. Uh, as a hacker, you're ready to venture off into a journey on exploring and uncovering the mysteries of technology. And we're really excited for you to be here. Let's get started and head over into the structure of today's hackathon. Next slide, Amy. Great. So let's start off with what exactly is a hackathon? A hackathon is kind of 24 hours to build a project. Uh, there's no restrictions on what your project can be, but you want to make sure that it is new code. And you can use open source technology, uh, which a lot of our sponsors are giving, but you will only be judged on the new bits you've written. For today's hackathon, you'll be submitting to kind of four, four major tracks where your project applies, as well as a general category. And the tracks are down below. Make sure to check out the website for more details on what exactly to do for these tracks. Your team size maximum is five hackers. We generally recommend three to four and sponsors for the most part, unless otherwise specified, will be uh, providing prizes for approximately four hackers. And finally, make sure to submit to DevPost before 1 p.m. tomorrow. More details coming up on this. Next slide, Amy. Awesome. Here's the Hack and See team. You probably don't know many of the faces, but uh, I'm Nikhil, the director of sponsorship for Hack and See. We have all the directors here. They're more than welcome to help you throughout the hackathon. Feel free to DM us if you have any questions, comments, concerns, and make sure to use those event support and submission support channels to you know, have fun and just keep in contact with everyone. Next slide. All right, let's go into some logistics, y'all. This is everything that is in the hacker guide and it's pretty much your checklist for this weekend. First up, make sure to join the Discord. You can join the Discord at the link over there. You can also join it on our live site and in the hacker guide. Make sure to join that because all the communication announcements will be on Discord, including workshops, panels, updates. You can meet other hackers, tons of fun events and games like Minecraft challenges, things like that. Super duper awesome. Next. You want to make sure you sign up for the sponsorship fair. The sponsorship fair is actually happening right after this event. And from it's going to occur from 12 to 3 p.m. with a dedicated time slot of 12 to 1 p.m. where everyone will just be working on sponsors. So make sure to go to Brazen, sign up. Over there, you can have your resume. You can upload your other details and contacts, and you can connect with sponsors. There's over 22 companies uh, that are at HackNC, and several of those companies are at the sponsorship fair, ready to talk about opportunities, internships, full-time, and so many more things. Next slide. All right, let's go into a quick schedule for today's event. So for today, uh, pretty simple. Uh, 9 to 11 a.m. is pre-event troubleshooting. Uh, 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. is, that should say, opening ceremony, which we are in right now. Um, obviously, at 12 p.m., the sponsor begins, and then hacking officially begins. This means that you can begin your project submissions. You can begin working on your project at this time. We have a couple more workshops coming up. The official updated workshop calendar is on uh, the hackandseat.com slash live, as well as the hacker guides. So make sure to check those out. Next slide. Sunday schedule is pretty important as well. The big thing over here is just that submissions will be due at 1 p.m. This includes your two minute video and your dev post submission, which we'll go into in a couple more slides. Next. All right, workshops. There's tons of them and they're super, super fun. For here, the big thing is make sure to go to the website. There's all the resources over there and feel free to check out each workshop channel and ask mentors and ask workshop hosts questions. What you'll do is for most of these, you'll be logging on to uh, Twitch and you'll be able to watch the stream over there. And you can ask questions in Discord and get more resources and template code over there. So you can follow along if they have tutorials or you can ask them other questions related to their content. Next slide. We also have some super duper fun panels coming up. Uh, today, there's a diversity in tech panel, which will feature uh, mentors that are women in tech as well as uh, uh, within the Black and, and Latinx in tech communities uh, at 4 to 5 p.m. And tomorrow, there's a, a UNC alumna panel uh, where we'll feature 
to a lot of alumni from different companies and different backgrounds uh, from 1.30 to 2.30 p.m. after hacking ends. Next slide. Cynthia, do you wanna take this from here? Yeah, sure. So here are some of the tracks that we're offering at um, the hackathon this year. So basically we have six, um, one of them being the general track, as you can see in the bottom right hand corner near the RAM. And that's just for anyone who doesn't fit into any of the other tracks or doesn't want to do anything um, that is covered by the other tracks. We also have uh, sustainability at the top, and that's going to be things related to green energy, you know, climate change solutions, that kind of thing. We also have accessibility and inclusivity on the left-hand side. Um, and that's going to be things like thinking about, you know, how can we make websites more user-friendly for people who might have accessibility challenges, um, how to make things more inclusive for people of all different backgrounds. We also have education. So focusing, especially now during COVID on how to get uh, a good education to, um, people around the world. We also have healthcare, which is a very big issue right now, as you probably all know. And finally, we have open source and nonprofits, as well as student organizations, which Amy is going to talk about on the next slide. And if you would like more information on any of these tracks, um, that we have uh, inf more information on them on our website, as well as within the hacker information packet. Thank you, Cynthia. Um, so this year, in addition to the tracks that Cynthia stated in the last slide, uh, this year we decided to team up with nonprofits um, within the local um, area. And we currently have the Sonia Haynes Stone Center. We have Village of Wisdom, as well as Stand Up Speak Out, Rise Against Hunger, and Girls on the Run. And with these challenges, um, each of them have developed a project proposal that you can find on the Hack and See slash live website on the resource tab, like Cynthia said. And now back to Cynthia for the next slide. Thank you, Amy. So now I'm gonna talk a little bit about project submissions. So we have a few rules in place for submissions. You need to create your submission and submit it to DevPost, um, devpost.com with a video or demo that is maximum two minutes long before the end of hacking, which is at 12.55 tomorrow. Uh, before, so basically tomorrow afternoon at 12.55. So with each team, you can only submit one project and you cannot submit more than one. Um, the excess ones will not be allowed. So you also need to include a GitHub link to any code written unless you had previously made an arrangement for that with the directors. Um, and the thing about the videos is that if they're more than two minutes long, because we have so many projects and so many participants and uh, so few judges, we can't really guarantee that anything over two minutes will be watched. So it'd be really, I think, just in best practice to keep your video at two minutes maximum. Um, and if you don't have a video, it's going to be really hard for judges to get an understanding of what you worked on in your project. So unfortunately, if you can't upload the video, um, it, the project will not be judged. And if you need any accommodations regarding that, please feel free to reach out to any of the directors. Um, and lastly, we cannot accept projects that have been submitted to other hackathons previously or that you started working on before the time of this hackathon. So if we go through and check your GitHub commit timestamps and they show that you started this in like August or something like that, we're going to have a hard time letting that in. So um, just keep that in mind and remember to follow the code of conduct whenever possible. Next slide. Um, finally, we have uh, the prizes, which I'm sure is a large motivating factor for a lot of you. So first place overall will be given a Fitbit per each person in their team. Second place will receive a Fujifilm instant camera and third place overall will receive, will receive a solar powered charging bank in line with our theme. Um, and then we also have winners for each of our six tracks. Um, and those winners will be able to choose from the UNC organizations listed below. Um, for example, we have the LGBTQ plus center, the Sonia Haynes Stone Center, the Asian American Center, the UNC Campus Y, um, the Enabling Technology Club and Girls Who Code. And the first place winner within each track will be able to donate $500 as a team to their favorite organization. And the runner up will donate $250. 
Um, I know that sponsors are also going to present their own prizes for their own categories, which they will talk about very shortly. And we also have a point system. So as you can see, we have points for all of the different uh, activities that you can do at the hackathon. So if you submit a project, that'll give you 400 points. Sponsor fair is also 400. And then you can make up the extra points by going to workshops, which are 100 points each, or attending some of the MLH games or other activities that we have set up for you. And if you reach 1,000 points, we will be sending out some special prizes for everyone who has. So make sure you keep track of that. Um, here are just some final reminders before we get into the sponsor slides. If you have any questions or concerns, please check out hackandsee.com and uh, hackandsee.com slash live, which has a lot of information on day of stuff. If you're not already on Discord, I don't know how you got into the Zoom, but um, please stay updated through Discord and that's where we're going to be posting most of our announcements. And finally, if you experience or observe any violations of Hack and See or MLH's code of conduct, or otherwise feel uncomfortable at all, please fill out the incident report form at the tinyurl.com slash hack and see report or reach out to a director with any concerns that you may have or Anukia, which is uh, who is our MLH representative. Great, now for a quick presentation uh, from Anukia. Go ahead and Amy, can you maximize this real quick? I'm Anu here from Major League Hacking, and I'm so excited to be here at HackMC this weekend, coming to you all from the charm city of Baltimore. I've been attending almost, I think, HackMC is my 36th hackathon, uh, which is so exciting. Uh, give us a follow on our socials to follow along for awesome updates throughout this weekend, by the way. And I'll be on um, Discord. I'm Anu here from MLH on Discord. Come chill with me on Discord. I want to meet all of you. I love talking to hackers all around the world. Would love to talk about your projects and mentor you as well. Um, for everything that I'm about to tell you, uh, you could find this little link right here is an amazing resource, hack.mlh.io. You'll find all things MLH on there and great starter kits as well. It's a great cheat sheet. All right, Anuhia, so what is Major League Hacking, you might wonder? Well, Major League Hacking is the global hacker community. Our mission is to empower hackers all around the world. And we have leagues in EU, APAC, literally global. And that involves 135,000 student hackers, just like each and every single one of you. You're part of our even larger, greater community of hackers. So by being at one of Major League Hacking's events, you're all earning points for your school in our season-long contests and rankings. So if you want more points, then you should get more folks from your community involved in attending events, such as Local Hack Day, which is happening very soon in late October. We describe it as a celebration of learning and kick off to the 2021 Local Hack Day series. When it happens, well, Sunday through Friday will be workshops, Saturday will be a mini conference, and we, we will be running workshops all week and then Saturday will be a live stream all day with tasks, um, talks, and workshops. So, all right, what are we doing this weekend? Well, we have this really fun um, puzzle solving United States Air Force Cybersecurity Challenge. So just join me at 7 p.m. ESD on Discord, and you'll even have a chance to win prizes and whatnot. Um, also, our 2020 season t-shirts presented by our amazing friends from Capital One will also be giving out um, some cool t-shirts at our mini event. And our friends at GitHub have this really fun competition for all you artsy folks out there, our friends who just love doodling. Um, draw an Octocat, win an Octocat. Um, all you have to do is doodle an Octocat in any format that you like and tweet it at GitHub Education using hashtag MyOctocat and hashtag HackNC. And folks, GitHub has tons and tons of software that you can use. The GitHub Student Developer Pack is a great resource for awesome software, literally thousands of dollars of software that you can find there. So be sure to use that in your hacks as well. And we have all the resources, even more resources that you might need. Starting with our friends at domain.com, have a free domain um, for all of you to use this weekend at, with one year free domain privacy. And all you have to do is 
go in there, enter promo code HACKLELANTERN, and make sure it's a .space, .tech, or .online domain. Um, but yeah, and we also have a really uh, fun prize, which is if you're using hardware, um, DigiKey is now sponsoring the best hardware hack prize category. And we'll be picking two winning teams at HackNC, and each winning team member will receive a Grove beginner kit with built-in Arduino. For anyone looking to participate in hardware emulator projects are available for this prize category. And also folks, um, our friends at Google Cloud, uh, they're here this weekend, but if you need Google Cloud credit, check your email to redeem up to $100 in cloud credit. Each time you go to a new hackathon, you get more credits. And if you need more credits, talk to me or Google Cloud folks. Um, we're also doing a prize for best use of Google Cloud. And be sure to um, go talk to them. They'll help you with all the awesome Google Cloud resources they have. And also we have the GitHub Student Developer Pack, but along with that, we have GitHub Starter Kits, which are a great place for you to get started, especially all my new folks out there. Welcome to the community, by the way. And for everything that I just talked about, we have tons of cool prizes that go along with it. Be sure to check out DevPost for plenty of more information. So I just talked about DevPost. Well, on Sunday, all you have to do is submit your video and your code to DevPost, and you get this amazing sticker. I'll leave the elephant I demoed sticker. Let me tell you, this is a limited edition sticker, um, and it will basically, you just, come on, it's a prideful sticker. So come to our event um, on Sunday, submit your dev post, and you get this sticker. And for folks, if you're looking for any internships or full-time offers, um, take a look at the Career Lab. It is designed for hackers like you. We are looking for, hack, like if you're looking for jobs, these companies are specifically wanting to recruit hackers just like each and every single one of you. And our folks from Capital One are also here this weekend, so be sure to talk to them. All right, folks, on a more serious note, MLH hackathons are a safe space for everyone. By being at HackNC, you're agreeing to the code of conduct. Organizers and sponsors too, you should read it. Be respectful, harassment and abuse are not tolerated. And keep in mind, at digital events, it's important to remember that there's a human on the other side of the screen. Boundaries exist. Be mindful of connecting with people's online and social profiles without permission. Folks are ignoring you if they don't reply immediately. Give them time to get your questions, get to your questions and messages. If you're having an issue, come see me. I'm here to help you out. Be sure to use the Slack bot um, to submit any incident reports that you might have found throughout this event. Um, just be sure to fill out the script there and I'll get right to it. And we want you to have an amazing time. So if you can't find someone, use this phone number or email address to get directly in touch with them. Once again, folks, we want you to have an amazing time. We want everyone to have an awesome time at HackNC. Once again, thank you to all our partners and happy hacking, folks. Great. Well, now I really want an Ellie the Elephant sticker. Those are so cute. So maybe I should also sign up for uh, a hackathon and more hackathons through MLH. All right. Mini drum roll, please, for our sponsors. Starting with our pioneer presenting sponsor, Credit Suisse, we have Agnes Latek helping us present. Agnes, go for it. Agnes, I think you might be muted. Thanks so much for letting me know. Yes, thanks, Nikhil. Thanks, Cynthia. Uh, so we are uh, we at Credit Suisse. We are very honored to be sponsors of this event. Uh, we support uh, many hackathons and have done that in the past. Um, uh, this is one of the hackathons that we always excited to be a part of. Uh, just let me tell you a little bit about Credit Suisse, who we are. Uh, Credit Suisse is a wealth management um, uh, company with strong investor uh, banking capabilities. Uh, what we do is we have uh, uh, three regional divisions uh, that are servicing our clients and our global banking, uh, investment banking uh, division is supporting those three. Um, Credit Suisse is uh, uh, right now um, uh, operating in more than 50 countries uh, around the world, and we employ over 150 uh, different nations. 
so as you, as you can see, uh, there's a lot of uh, diversity and we strive to uh, be uh, inclusive and aim to provide the environment where you can strive, uh, uh, when you can strive and grow. Uh, can we go to the next slide, please? Right, so um, there are many preconceptions about banking, but banking right now is all about technology. And this slide is going to give you an idea of uh, uh, what uh, impact technology has on Credit Suisse. Uh, so uh, one number that I would like to point out is uh, 46,000 total employees in Credit Suisse and almost one fourth of them are IT. And our technology team works on state-of-the-art programs and systems. Uh, some of the technologies uh, are data science and analytics. We are uh, uh, pioneers and uh, spearheading cybersecurity, machine learning and artificial intelligence and robotics, and of course, fintech. Credit Suisse is also uh, 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 community conscious. We are committed to giving back. And we do that by supporting education, microfinance, sustainability, and also uh, participating in a lot of uh, disaster relief uh, uh, initiatives. At Credit Suisse, we strive to deliver world class technology. And this is why our uh, prize, and this is the next slide, if uh, you can forward to the next slide. This is our uh, prize echo dot is for the most innovative hack. So thank you so much for listening. And I hope you all have a great time uh, hacking today and especially working together. And uh, please find some time to chat with us. Uh, we are going to be there during the sponsor fair. We also uh, have mentors uh, that can uh, help you with your project. Thank you so much. Awesome, thank you so much, Agnes. Next up, we have Capital One. Uh, I guess I can go ahead and present for Capital One. I'm not quite sure if they're here. Um, Capital One is presenting the best financial hack. The question really is, how will you reimagine banking? And if you can see that little logo there at the bottom, the little uh, icon there is for Nessie, Capital One's banking API. They're available on our website in the resources section. And the prize is $250 gift cards from Amazon to each member of the winning team. Next up, we have Square. Hi, everybody. Okay, my name is Bobby Lee, and I'm a developer evangelist from Square, and we're sponsoring the e-commerce track this weekend. So let me just tell you a little bit about Square and my team and how you can interact with us throughout the weekend. So the Square developer platform is an ecosystem of APIs and SDKs that connect to all of our great hardware and online solutions that power businesses on Square. So you may be used to seeing all of that hardware at coffee shops or farmers markets. So, um, so yeah, we're kind of the team that helps you build creative solutions with our hardware. So next slide. Next slide. It's okay. Okay. Not only can you add a payment form to back one slide. Back one slide. Okay. website All right, I'm going to hop in right here real quick. I think we may be having some technical difficulties in terms of the audio from Bobby Lee, um, but I can go ahead and just complete this and let and you know we'll, we can go from there. Um, great. So right now, so Amy, next slide, real quick. Square Developer provides a platform built for growth. Uh, Square specifically works a lot on payments and order systems. And what you can do is you can feel free to head over to mentors and make sure to chat with them 
during the sponsor fair as well as other parts of the hackathon to learn more about the uh, Discord development platform and all the payments APIs, things like that, that they provide. Things like they can accept payments, create and track orders, manage product catalogs, organize customers, adjust inventory, manage employees. Uh, next slide. <laughs> Great. In terms of the developer experience, make sure to head over to the links over there, developer.squareup.com slash docs and youtube.com slash square dev. Here, you're gonna learn a lot more, including tutorials, templates, being able to create your order and play with different APIs and tools that Square has. This will really help you with uh, the following. So make sure to head over to uh, that website and those websites to get those resources um, and launch your Square hacking journey. Next slide. So Square, uh, Square's workshop was actually actually happened yesterday. Um, it, it was really really awesome. We had a turn of awesome. Uh, thank you thank you all so much for those of you who came out. It's the Learn How to Make an Order Ahead app using Square. Uh, all the details and the pre recorded videos are located on tinyurlcom slash 2020 which leads you to our YouTube channel. Make sure to check out that because that that'll be a really important resource for you if you are looking into building Square hacks. Uh, last but not least, next slide. Great. Over here, the business community needs your help right now more than ever during COVID-19, right? We're looking for solutions to adapt to a new world of contactless commerce. And many are struggling to make the transition or to innovate. So this is where you come in. We're excited, Square is excited to sponsor this year's e-commerce prize, where Square invites participants to create applications using their e-commerce solutions. In order for your team to win, you must use one of Square's payments APIs, also be based within the US and have a cash app account. In terms of the criteria for judging, that'll be, be, that'll be based specifically on kind of the quality and implementation of your idea. Two teams will be chosen and each participant will be given $100 by a Square cash app. Next slide, Amy. I'm back to if my audio is working. Go for it, Bobbily. Okay. Yeah. Sorry about that. I don't know what happened. Um, yeah, basically kind of just close it out. We're definitely hiring. We have a lot of opportunities for internships and other, you know, young graduate opportunities. And um, during the sponsorship fair, all these stuff will be linked in our, in our um, little dashboard. So there is a form you can fill out if you are interested. Um, you can also just apply to our website if you'd like. But if you want us to follow up with you, just put your name into the form that I've linked in our sponsorship fair um thing so yeah so thanks so much sorry when my audio went out but yeah we're really excited to be sponsoring the prize and just excited in general for you guys to play around with our apis and just reach out with any questions uh following up with this and i hope you enjoyed the workshop we did yesterday so you can also ask more questions about that as well great next up is john deere uh nate from john deere is here to uh, help us out so nate you want to go into it yeah, sure. Uh, thanks so much for having us. Uh, my name's Nate Bawalda. I am from John Deere. I'm a technical lead there. Uh, I work with what's called the Intelligent Solutions Group. We're the that put the displays and servers and antennas and GPS receivers and all the neat hardware on the tractors. These, these really empower the tractors and other machines to drive themselves, act, uh, react more accurately in the field, um, avoid uh, unexpected uh, costs or um, changes that have been recorded previously in the, uh, in the field from other activities. And we use um, all sorts of new, tech, uh, new and emerging technologies to help um, our customers really manage their businesses because every farm is, is, is a business in and of itself. Um, we were founded a little over 25 years ago um, on the basis that we could use GPS to accurately plant um, seeds and to and from there we could make the machines drive uh, accurately on their own in the field and our machines have 
I've been able to do that for uh, a little over a decade now. So we're working on improving this uh, using more modern technologies and computer vision, um, additional sensors, AI, machine learning. Um, and uh, so if you ever see one of our machines out in the field while well, you happen to make it up um, to drive around it out in rural America, you, you can imagine how much technology is on one of those machines now. Um, next slide. Uh, this year, uh, we are sponsoring the Sustainability Hack. Um, the prize is a uh, John Deere branded Yeti uh, Rambler. Sustainability is really important to, to us. Um, it, not only good for our customers, but it's great for the environment. Uh, our technologies, particularly in chemical application and tillage, really help um, reduce customer costs, but also impact to the environment. Um, we, we're working on figuring out ways that growers can continue to produce more and more uh, food for a growing world population while using uh, less chemicals and making uh, less of an impact to the environment. Um, we're really excited to sponsor this. And if you want to hear more about what we're uh, doing as a company for sustainability, you can visit the link there. Um, this is our second year here, uh, super excited. Um, we normally uh, stick around in the Midwest a little bit, as you can imagine, but we want to get to know you folks. Um, we know that there are quite, um, quite a few really good developers out here and know you guys like to innovate. We have some of the most challenging problems that you've ever run into at, um, at the Intelligent Solutions Group. Uh, trying to get gigabytes of agronomic data off of a combine uh, from rural America with uh, limited cell connection to a cloud server and then onto a mobile device as a map, all in milliseconds. So um, we need innovation. We need folks like you who are willing to hack, willing to innovate, to come help us out and help make the next generation of solutions for our customers. Uh, if you're interested in checking out our uh, what we're able to do, you can go to developer.deer.com uh, and you can check out our API platform. Uh, Ryan Bergman will be talking a little bit more about how that we use that platform uh, tomorrow. Uh, so please come um, stop in for his talk and see how we make use of uh, that API and the data that we collect. And then if you're interested in, um, in a career or an internship, for an internship, your best bet is to Google uh, internships uh, John Deere that'll take you directly to the internship page on our corporate site and if you're looking for a job jobs.deer.com will will get you there um, I'll be at the sponsorship booth uh, again I'm a technical lead I'm not a recruiter so uh, I, I work on code every day so um, please come stop by and and let's talk some code and and, and uh, hope to see you there thanks Awesome, thank you so much, Nate. All right, that wraps up our uh, Explorer and Pioneer sponsors. Next up, the remaining sponsors will be our Scout sponsors as well as our partners. First up, we have CapTech. Hey guys, uh, my name is Matthew Kuhn. I'm uh, with CapTech, I'm a consultant here. Uh, if we just go to the next slide. Uh, yeah, great. Thank you. So basically uh, at CapTech, we are a tech consulting firm. Uh, we're based out of Richmond, Virginia, but we have offices all across the East Coast and we're slowly growing out towards the West. We have a uh, Denver office now, which is awesome. Uh, we're a little smaller, but we're growing. Uh, I think we're just near uh, a thousand consultants now. And basically what we do as uh, tech consultants is we work with our clients uh, you know, very closely to help them uh, with, you know, a variety of their, you know, solving a variety of their technology uh, problems. So, you know, we have clients in, you know, the finance industry, uh, retail, commerce, all sorts of industries, all sorts of types of work uh, that we do. And we help them through, uh, you know, three main uh, practice areas at CapTech, our management consultants, our data and analytics practice area, and then our systems integrations area. So, uh, you know, by you know working in those three different areas, we you know work with our clients all over the country to you know, help solve their problems. Um, a little bit more about us: we've you know we have an internship that we've been doing for a long time uh, that you know gets nationally rated uh, you know year uh, after year, which is awesome. And um, 
we'll be hosting a uh, workshop today at two o'clock. Uh, Chris, who's here as well, uh, will be hosting an intro to Docker. So definitely go by and stop, uh, stop by and check that out. And then we will be at the sponsor fair as well. Uh, I'll be there. Uh, we will have one of our talent uh, recruiters as well there. So if you're interested in learning more about consulting, uh, learning about uh, Cap Tech, we'll be there and uh, really looking forward to meeting you all. So thanks again. We're really excited to be here and uh, best of luck this weekend. Thanks, guys. Great. Thank you, Matthew. Next up, we have a video from CoStar. Next slide. Great. Awesome. We know that this ceremony has been going on, but don't worry. We're in that last stretch right now. Next up is Deutsche Bank. We have Avinash. Avinash, go for it. Thank you, Nico. Hi, everyone. I'm Avinash Lakhani. I'm a director at uh, Deutsche Bank in the Global Technology uh, Division. I'm very excited to be participating at this event uh, this weekend. It's an honor to be here. We've got over 20 representatives from a bank that are either mentoring or volunteering at the sponsorship fair. So definitely look out for them. Phenomenal effort by the organizers putting together a fully virtual event. Thank you very much for keeping us all safe. About Deutsche Bank, Deutsche Bank is a 150 year old institution founded in Germany. Deutsche Bank operates in all major financial markets globally in corporate and investment banking, capital markets, retail bank, and wealth management. We have 78,000 employees and we operate in 70 plus countries. Fun fact, I've lived in about five of those countries, not as an employee, but just had the opportunity to live there. Um, our carry presence, uh, a bit of background. Uh, we are a technology focused office founded in 2009. We're at a strength of about 650 people uh, who are very passionate about technology, just like yourselves. We're running about 285 critical applications that are used globally by the bank uh, out of the carry office. In carry alone, we carry out 1300 plus releases a year of code and 75% of the people at the office are actual code committers. Very robust grad and intern program. We have about 60 plus uh, intake in carry alone and we have very similar programs that are run across our major offices across the globe. We're very engaged in giving back to the community through various employee resource groups as well. We've, uh, for example, developed an application with the veterans of Wall Street, and it's now available on all the app, major apps, Apple stores, I'm um, sorry, the app stores. Let's talk about innovation a bit. We have dev labs for studying new technologies. We have innovation labs where we partner with the software industry to bring in the latest in tech. We're partnering with major universities on the senior design projects as well. And we do run internal global hackathons. For example, last year we won the 2019 US WISE and global dabble competitions. One of the most exciting things um, in, in recent times is that we've announced a new strategic partnership with Google for the Google Cloud Platform. So do check out YouTube. And if you just search for Deutsche Bank and Google, you'll find a great video from both our CEO and the CEO of Google. 
In closing, I would say technology is at the heart of everything we do. Without it, our business would simply not be possible. Cloud is the future and it is our strategy. I'd like to thank you all for your time today and I wanna wish all the participants very good luck. You all are already winners by taking the step to participate. Thank you very much. Awesome. Thank you, Avinash. Next up is IQVIA. Go for it. Great, thank you. Um, good morning, afternoon, everyone. Really happy to be here, excited. It's going to be a great day. I'm sure you're all going to learn a lot. Just wanna say a few words about IQVIA. Um, first of all, my name is Chris Steele. I'm the Senior Director of Machine Learning. Uh, I work in the CIO office at IQVIA. And I've got the unique position in that as part of the CIO group, I get to look across all the different groups within IQVIA. So, IQVIA itself is a large corporation. We have over 11,000, uh, I'm sorry, we have close to 70,000 employees and we did uh, around 11 billion in revenue last year. As you can imagine, a lot of, a lot of different groups doing a lot of different things. And uh, it's, uh, it's my honor to be able to look at all the different machine learning AI related projects across all those different groups and really help try to empower the company to, to better utilize um, AI and ML. You may have, some of you may have been working with my colleague, Eric Harper. He's been mentoring today. He'll be doing so as well tomorrow. I'm going to be uh, hosting a workshop at 1 p.m. today. We're going to look at uh, how we can do some modeling around COVID-19. So as you can imagine, COVID-19 is a, a very serious matter and uh, at IQVIA, we're, um, we're taking uh, a lot of steps to try and address the issue. So our core business is really um, molecule to market. So uh, if you think of uh, before, before IQVIA, before the merger, we were Quintiles and IMS Health. Quintiles was um, the leading CRO in the space, focusing on clinical trials. So helping our, our large pharma customers put together the trials, run them, um, handle all the, the safety and efficacy around them. And on the, uh, on the market side, um, once the drug gets to market, um, IMS Health was the, one of the world's largest providers of uh, data, uh, healthcare data in the world. So we uh, work with companies across the globe, um, helping them to, to take these drugs to market. So um, really excited to be here and uh, hope that, uh, that you all learn a lot today. Thank you. Awesome. Next up, we have Danielle from Optum. Danielle, go for it. Good morning, everyone. Uh, so excited to be here once again, representing Optum. Um, my name is Danielle Martin. Uh, I am currently a senior software engineer at Optum, and I believe this is my fourth year here helping out at HackNC. So I'm very thrilled to be here once again. Uh, and big shout out to the HackNC team for putting together this event in an entirely virtual space. Um, so for those of you who have never heard of Optum before, uh, at Optum, we are a leading health services innovation company dedicated to helping make the health system work better for everyone. We create simple, effective, and comprehensive solutions for organizations and consumers across the whole health system by integrating our foundational competencies of consumer experience, clinical expertise, data and analytics, and embedded technology into all Optum services. By understanding the needs of our customers, members, and patients, and putting them at the center of everything we do, uh, we will achieve our aspiration of improving experiences and outcomes for everyone we serve while reducing the total cost of care. Now, if that sounds like something that you guys would love to be a part of and help out with our mission statement, uh, we do have opportunities coming up. Uh, we have both an internship program, which is 10 weeks long, uh, as well as a one-year rotational program or one-year rotational program for any uh, uh, college graduates. Uh, so if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in being a part of, we will be at the sponsor fair starting at 12 Eastern. So we would love to have you stop by and learn more about the company. And again, good luck to all of you hackathon members out there. And I hope you have a great hacking event. 
Great. Awesome. I, but next up, we have Vanguard. I don't believe your, their representative is here right now. Um, but Vanguard is, you can go to the next slide. Vanguard is a financial services company that works in you know, building IT that develops financial futures. Uh, so make sure to kind of, they really have three main things, right? Building your technical and strategic skills as you work alongside crews from across the business, designing front end and back end solutions for test driven development, and you know, sharing your ideas and making your voice heard in an open collaborative team setting. Vanguard does have opportunities available. Uh, they do have internships and full-time opportunities. So make sure to check them out and check out their websites as well. Great. Last but not least, Google Cloud. You are up. Go for it. Hi. Hi, this is Helen, Helen Ching, and I am a software engineer at Google. Like you can probably tell from this picture, I went to UNC and actually just graduated from UNC last year in 2019. So super excited to be here and chat with you throughout the weekend. So about Google, Google's challenge for the weekend is about Google Cloud. Yeah, cloud computing is all about getting things done using someone else's computers. So when you use Google Cloud, you're getting things done using Google's computers. Next slide, please. Google Cloud lets you build and host applications and websites, store data, and analyze data all on Google's computing infrastructure. Next, please. We have a suite of developer products that you can try out in your Hackathon project this weekend. We have App Engine, Firebase, and other databases like Cloud Firestore and so on. Next, please. We also have Google Maps platform, which gives you the power of Google Maps in, a, in an API format. Next, please. I also want to highlight our Google Cloud Machine Learning APIs. This allow you to gain insights about your data using pre-trained machine learning models hosted on Google Cloud. What is awesome about this is that you don't actually need to know any about machine learning to use them. You're simply using the power of Google Cloud's machine learning to analyze your data. We have APIs for video intelligence, vision, speech, natural language, and so on. So let's skip the next few slides, but you can find details about these machine learning APIs after the slides are shared with you. So let's go to the API challenge. Yeah, this one. We have an API challenge this weekend for best use of Google Cloud. Just use any Google Cloud product to qualify. Each member of the winning team will receive a Google Cloud Patagonia backpack, a trophy, and a water bottle. Next, please. We also have a prize for the second place, which is a Google Nest Mini for each team member. Next, please. We also have an amazing opportunity and challenge, the Google Cloud COVID-19 Hackathon Fund. Next, please. We're looking for outstanding projects that use Google Cloud to solve for COVID-19 related challenges. Next, please. Yeah, selected projects will receive an exclusive invitation to apply for up to $5,000 in a, of additional Google Cloud credits. And you'll get guidance from Google developers to continue your projects beyond this hackathon. Next, please. There are several potential categories to start with, and you can find more details at the link in the next slide. Next slide, please. And next slide, yes. So check for an email from Major League Hacking to activate your $25 in Google Cloud free credits. Next, please. We also have a Google Cloud workshop on Saturday today at 1 p.m. EST. Next, please. We also have a Firebase Tech Talk recording that will be available on Discord. And finally, if you have any questions or need help, ping us on Discord, and we're happy to help. So thank you and enjoy the weekend. Great, thank you so much, Helen. All right, we're at, the we're at the end of a very long slideshow, but 
These are some of our sponsors and partners. One more time. Last slide, Amy. The next one. Great. We're at the end of our presentation. This is the opening ceremony for Hack and See 2020. Now, what are your next steps? First off, make sure you're signing up for that sponsorship fair. There's a pretty sub, pretty easy to follow step process in terms of uploading your resume, uploading your profile pictures, and getting ready to connect with companies. The sponsorship fair again is coming up in 10 minutes. The links are in your hacker guide on the live website, and they'll be on Discord throughout. So make sure you go over there and talk to multiple different companies and make the most of your sponsor journey. You can maybe even uh, talk to recruiters. You can talk about internships and full-time opportunities. You can also do some team matching. So from 12 to 1 right now, uh, there will be a team matching session on Glimpse. Um, so for those of you who did camp come uh, yesterday, today we'll have longer match time. So you're able to talk uh, with participants in kind of the round robin one-on-one -on -one format. So if you do not have a team or things like that, make sure to go over there and find your fellow teammates, share ideas, and have a lot of fun. Last but not least, thank you all so much for coming out. Uh, we look forward to seeing your hacks. And we also want to make sure that, you know, things do happen. This presentation is, it has had some technical difficulty. Happen. It's going to happen. It, and that's totally okay. okay. It's, it's going to happen. happen. Uh, we just want to make sure that you, you can't necessarily control those difficulties, but what you can do is you can control how you respond to them and how you react to them. So please be respectful and happy hacking. Thank you so much.